What's going on, folks? It is K-Spade the Prospect. I'm back today with a brand new episode of Welcome to Sin City. And in today's video, folks, we got the Mountain West Conference Championship game. One of three conferences to host their championship game on a campus site. Today, we got the Boise State Broncos. We got the UNLV Rebels and head coach K-Spade's first season. Here he is with an appearance in the conference championship game. None of that's going to matter. I'm sure he wants to dub. I'll meet you guys down at the coin toss. Alright folks, as you can see, the fans have definitely come out today to support the running Rebels. This is funny, I remember the first game of the season, or the first home game, the Rebels came out here and played for what looked like about 5,000 fans. They definitely came out today, and they should come out and support this team out here in the biggest game of their young lives. However, let's not get too hype on emotion. They got a, they got a, a big opponent on the opposite sideline today. The Boise State Broncos kind of been the bully in this conference for some years now. This team comes out here and they put in work and I'm sure they got a game plan today to come out here and try to bully the smaller team. Let's get into it, I'm running my mouth. The Broncos drive has been moving down the field pretty easily, Jeremy McNichols running somebody over right there. Boise State has a high power offense, everybody knows that. However, I didn't expect them to get down the field so quickly on this first drive. Demas goes down, or he's not all the way down, gets back up, gets into the end zone for a 10 yard scamper. You got to see that play again. It looked like he was tackled. He was actually sitting on a UNLV player. Got right back up. Got into the end zone. Come on, kids. You got to be careful. You got to make sure he is down. If I know like I know, they're going to get an earful from the coach on the sideline. He likes to see these guys flying to the football and multiple people. Like, don't just assume your teammate made the tackle. Everybody get in there and make the play. Rebel offense on the field for the first time today, and they do something a little differently. They start this drive off running Lexington Thomas. He picks up a really solid seven or eight yard gain on that play. Later in that drive, they got the green machine involved, but they are passing to him out of the backfield. It looks like what they're trying to do is come out here and catch Boise State off guard. Just throw a bunch of different stuff at them that you probably haven't seen them do all season, just to kind of throw them off for whatever they studied on film. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure they not ready for it. First and 10 for Stanton, flushed out the pocket, looking downfield, tried to get the pass off and couldn't get it off. He sacked for a huge loss on the play, second and 22, Stanton comes back, throws a beautiful strike to the sideline, Devontae Boyd with a 13 yard reception, he helps make it a manageable third and nine. Stanton drops back in the gun to pass on third and nine, takes a shot toward the end zone. Stanton and Devontae Boy hook up with one of the most exciting touchdowns I've seen so far this season. Boy had to lay out to make the catch. Beautiful pass, beautiful catch. 7-7, seven, seven, man. The Rebels don't look afraid of the Broncos, and that's a good thing. That's what you want to see out here. Now, the defense got to respond. That first drive was way too easy for Boise State. It's still a lot of time left in the first quarter. That lets you know that both of these teams turned up drives that was quick, like moving down the field with ease and scoring quickly. You don't want to see that the entire game. Let's see. Third down for the Broncos right here. Ripping drops back the pass. The pressure is on. Just throws one down the seams in the direction of Hawthorne. Hawthorne is making a case for him to possibly win the Thorpe this year. He's definitely going to be an All-American. And usually when you throw a dangerous pass like that in his area, you don't live to tell about it. For some odd reason, he's not there on that play. And you got the Broncos inside the red zone. Second and short. They're going to hand it off. McNichols, full ahead of steam. He gets in the end zone right here. Two scoring touchdowns for Boise State, both on the ground. Two completely different running backs. This team is, I'm telling you, they deep. They're talented. It's going to be a long game. However, the Rebels back out here looking like they're still not afraid. I like what they're doing on the offensive end. Stanton looks very efficient. He's taking the right shots, and he's not playing too risky. He's knowing when to run with it, knowing when to keep it. So far, so good. Let's see how things go right here. The Green Machine. This is what I want to see them do. 
mix up that running attack. Give them a little bit of Lex Thomas. Give them some David Green. Make them pay. That's what you got to do. You got to wear these defenses down. On first and 10, Stanton keeps it. Picks up the first down. Got a yard or two more before safely sliding to the turf. Please don't get hurt. Johnny, we need you. Second down for the Rebels. This is another great read by Stanton. Stanton might be playing some of the best football early in this game that he's played all season. And I know it's only a quarter in. It's probably too early to make that statement. But he's making all of the right reads. Does so again right here to Presley. Even though Presley can't get into the end zone. That's a smart read. Beautiful read. They come back and give it to the green machine. It's going to be a long game. I can tell, man. 14-14, there's still a ton of time left in this game. This game is going to be either won or lost on the defensive end. Right now, neither defenses can stop either one of these offenses. This game is going to be 60-50-something to 50 something if it keeps going like this. Let's see what we got. Boise State with a tight end in motion. Rippin drops back the pass. He's reading the defense. Nobody's really opening the pressure. It gets to him just as he is releasing the football. i like to see that be a pick. If that's an interception right there, the game is over. I'm going to go ahead and call it. If that's an interception, the game is over. Third down. Boise State has not been stopped on a third down yet this game. And the streak continues. Right here hooking up with Jake Rowe. 12-yard reception. First and 10 Broncos. They come back and try to run McNichols. Beautiful defense. Now, finally, we get a chance to see Tao Lotelele, who we haven't said his name yet. And that's crazy. He's a playmaker. Oh, my God, man. UNLV zone getting picked apart right now. Boise State is... High power, y'all. High power. First and 10 from inside the red zone. There's Lota Lele again. Getting in the backfield, bringing McNichols down for a one-yard loss. That's what it's going to take. Tal, you got to stay up. You got to make plays, fam. Like, you a big-name guy. We expect you to make big-name plays in the biggest game of the season. And this is his last game. He's a senior. Right here, though, I spoke him up too big. Lota Lele hits the quarterback, gets his tackle broken. Somebody delivers the hit to force a fumble. And I'm not sure how the Rebels don't recover this. Big time hit. I think that's McTyre on the hit. Beautiful hit. Hawthorne is right there diving for the football. And somehow another 59 comes up with that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. All I know is you got to continue to play through it. Some things are not going to go your way during the game. You got to continue to fight. Empty backfield. This is probably a quarterback keeper. Anybody who saw this play set up knew what was coming, but the Boise State blocking was phenomenal. I saw feet in the air on that play. Anytime you see a defensive player's feet in the air, it's probably going to go for positive yardage for the offense. Probably so. Anyway, three minutes on the clock. Three and a half minutes on the clock. Let's say that before the half. Rebels got an opportunity to tie this game up. If they play the clock right, they could possibly go into the half 21-21. It'd be set up perfect. And the Rebels get it back in the second half. So this would be great. This drive is important, though. Let's make sure they can put it together. They definitely look like they want to keep it on the ground. The Green Machine is doing his job. Going north and south better than anybody in the FBS right now. And he is helping this team out a lot. Play action pass right here on second down. Stanton gets outside, gets the first down, gets more. And then safely gets out of bounds. I like it, Johnny. Johnny, you balling today, boy. You balling. Second down for Stanton. Throws a beautiful pass to the tight end, Price, who couldn't hold on to it. That is Stanton's first incomplete pass of the game, and it was thrown perfectly. Perfectly. Third down right here. The pressure gets to him. He does an amazing job just to get rid of this pass without taking a loss on the play. That's what Matt Ryan should have did in Super Bowl. Anyway, anyway. Rebels have to settle for three on that drive. Now, still just under a minute on the clock. You know Boise State's going to take a couple of shots toward the end zone. Great secondary play right here. You don't want these guys to score again because even though the Rebels didn't get in the end zone, once again, they get it back in the third quarter to start the third quarter off. So they'll be okay, especially if they can get in the end zone on that possession. 45 seconds on the clock, third and 10. Boise State is 100% on third and 10s, and they take another shot at Hawthorne. It's not going to keep working, fam. It's not going to keep working. Big time interception by Hawthorne. He was out there to make a play, and he made it. I don't understand how he didn't make this play the first time they tried him, but you're not going to keep going to the well. The well is dry, fam. So at the end of the first half, got a 21-17 game out here. Both teams look powerful. One turnover apiece. Defense and turn. That's going to be the difference, y'all. That's going to be the difference. Third quarter action, let's see what we got. UNLV out here running the football. That's what I like. Look at the green machine. That's what I like. 
run through them arm tackles, keep them legs moving, fight forward, and fall forward. I like that right there. Stanton flushed out the pocket on first and 10. He's trying to get to that first down marker. Goes down after a gain of eight. Beautiful scamper. I like what Stanton is doing today. Stanton, you look great, homie. You look great. Makai Stevenson across the middle. That kid is shifty. If you get him the ball in open field, just sit back and watch him make play. He, he makes plays, y'all. Third down. Lex gets in the game. He picks up eight on the carry. Beautiful drive so far. UNLV is doing exactly what I said they might do. They starting this drive off looking great, moving the football. Now, this one's dangerous right here. Third and short. The green machine is stopped for a loss, and it appears as though he is injured. Now, this is crazy. Luckily for UNLV, they going to be all right. Lex stays in the game. They go for it on fourth down. They get the first. Keep in mind, y'all, at the start of this season, Lexington was the starter for this team anyway. And I'm not going to say he was hoping somebody got hurt. Look at Lex get in the end zone here. I'm not going to say he was hoping somebody got hurt. But I'm going to tell you, when you lose the starting job, the injury, you're always hoping for an opportunity to get back in there as the starter. And hey, the biggest game of the season so far, I'm pretty sure he's going to be okay. I'm not worried about this team at all. And they've always had a next man up philosophy going on anyway. What is happening in this secondary? What is up with this kid? Are you blind or what? Huge play. You just can't give that up. That pass right there put him right back in the red zone. Late in that drive. With 30-something seconds on the clock to end the third quarter, it's second and five. McNichols runs straight, picks up the first down. It's going to be first and goal from inside the 10-yard line. This is a problem right here. Like, this is a problem for the Rebel defense. Anytime you get them backed up to their own end zone so far this season, they haven't been great at stopping opposing teams. And the streak continues right here. Demas gets in between McNichols and Demas. What is that in the what, – what is this? What's this, what's this orange blob? In the corner of the screen, fam. What is this? Anyway, Lex Thomas is doing his job out here. 17-yard reception. The kid didn't want to go down. With that last score, though, Boise State takes the lead to start the fourth quarter off. So time management and clock management is going to be huge moving forward. Stanton gets sacked on that play. I would like to see Stanton get rid of it there. He gets sacked. UNLV has to punt this football off. It's five minutes on the clock. It's a four-point game. And it's a big-ass orange square that just popped up on the screen for some reason. I, I, hey, I don't know. Beautiful stop right here, though. I like that. Third down. Now, Boise State has converted all but one. They need a stop here, and they don't get it. Now, they deliver a bone-crushing hit to McNichols after the run, but he picks up the first down. You don't want him to get the first down here. Notice they're trying their best to keep it on the ground, taking a shot here. Oh, my God. What's going on in the secondary, fam? What is going on? Chaz Anderson is eating out here. And especially when they line him up on that left side of the field. The kid is eating. 35-24 with four minutes to go. A game that looked like it was anybody's game right now looks like it's Boise State's game. This drive right here is going to be huge. First down, they come out and hook up with Devontae Boyd. Second, well, it's not second down because they got a first and ten. On the second play of the drive, they come back and hook up with Andrew Price. Keep in mind that in the first half, Price is dropped with Stanton's only incomplete pass, so you know he feels the pressure to perform. You got to play big in big games, guy. You got to. Woods Jr. on the reception right here. Nice route. Ran the hell out that route. Did a great job of holding on to the football. Taking a big hit at the end of that play. Three minutes on the clock. Stanton taking a strike across the center of the field. He never saw the middle backer who was just floating there in a zone looking right at Stanton. He actually had Price open. You got to lead him more up. You got to lead him up, kid. Come on. That turnover is costly. And I told you turnovers might be the difference maker. It's still a chance, but, man, they don't look good. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Second and five. Lota Lele in the backfield making a play after a gain of only a yard or maybe two. Brings up a third down. Now, third downs have been the boogeyman for the Rebels in this game. We need to stop Rebel defense. What you got? Play action pass to McNichols. Beautiful play set up, but the receiver can't hold on to it. He can't hold on to it. It was set up beautifully. Everybody was expecting the run. The play action was set up nice. It's two minutes on the clock. UNLV needs a miracle. Stanton flushed out of the pocket. Somehow or another gets north and south. Gets the first down. Gets out of bounds to stop the clock. I like it. Later in that drive on third down, Lexington Thomas, this guy's a playmaker. That's why they love him here. Makes a play right here. Off the screen play, first and 10, the drive continues. Later in that drive on another third down, they go to the air. The backup 
tight end Trevor Canterman comes out here, makes a big time catch to keep the drive going. Third down later, again in that drive. They go back to Devontae Boyd. Devontae is kind of having a quiet monster game. Nobody's going to remember if they don't get the win, though. 40 seconds on the clock at this point. Your fate has been sealed. Destiny has spoken. Corsi State escapes with a win. Devontae Boyd gets in the end zone again. I like the fact that Coach Spade wouldn't allow this team to quit. Even after he knew it looked like they was going to be out of it, they continued to fight. Right here after the score, losing by five, they go for the onside kick. The kick is up. It bounces straight to a Boise State player who scoops it up. That's all we got today, folks. I mean, I know it's no consolation prizes in football, but Coach Spade took this team and fought and really made the nation pay attention to UNLV football for the first time in a very long time. However, today, turnovers cost them. Like, turnovers really kept them from being the Mountain West champs of this year. I guess congratulations goes to Boise State. They did it again. This kid right here played his butt off, though. He played well. The team played well. You gotta take these kids out to pizza. You got to. You gotta take them to pizza. Anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. You did. Do me a favor, leave a like. I hope you're still enjoying this series. If you are, say it in the comment section. Let me hear it, man. I need that. That's like my fuel that keeps me going. The next video that you guys will see in this series will be a recruiting update with trivia questions. Remember what I said earlier, the first 10 correct answers I get to those questions will get themselves added to this series as players. And hopefully you guys can play for the great Coach K Spade. Anyway, folks, that's all I got for the day. I'm out till next time, y'all. Oh, stay tuned because I got some award winners at the end of this video. I want you guys to see it. If you want to skip to it, jump to like the 17... 40 mark maybe 17 minutes 40 seconds if you want to see the awards all right y'all i'm out peace